Hey, what's up everybody? It's Sam here with the tutorial and in this one we're going to be talking about ConvertKit. I'm going to show you how to send your downloadable information using ConvertKit because it is very, very simple. Now, let's get stuck in to this training. The first thing you obviously want to do is log into ConvertKit, right? That's ridiculously obvious. Then you want to click on forms. This is where you create your form that people are actually going to opt into. Then you create the settings as to what people are actually going to do once they log into that. Okay, so if we uh, look down here, I've got some forms already. Yeah, so uh, if we're going to go ahead and create a new one, create a form right here. Then you can either create a landing page or an actual form. So uh, I'm just going to do a form in this case, but honestly, it's the same thing with, with either or. Uh, when I create forms, I like to keep them really simple. If I'm going to create something that I'm actually going to put out there, I'll do something like this, right? Because it does give me a nice little form there. Very, very simple, very basic, uh, but it does give it something, right? Uh, this form, honestly, in my opinion, ConvertKit just does not have the capabilities to edit and make a form like this look great, right? Um, unless you want to get really technical and go into all that other stuff with, frankly, uh, frankly, it's not really worth it. You're better off getting uh, what I use, which is Thrive Leads and connecting it and creating something really, really nice there. That's another tutorial for another time. But if you want to keep it ridiculously simple, like something you're going to put into a blog post, you want to go with this here, okay? So for this particular uh, one, I'm just going to click this one, just so we can do a little bit of customization so you can actually see how this really works. So see here, uh, join the newsletter, subscribe to get our latest content by email, email address, subscribe. Uh, we don't send you spam. If you want to view this, if you want to get a preview of what you've actually got here, just click on that and it brings up exactly what people are going to see. Now, the only thing I don't like about this is that it's not self-hosted like things like uh, Aweber and GetResponse do, which is great because it, that's all it actually shows. This is something that you have to upload to your WordPress website, which honestly does not come out good. So if you're gonna create a form like this, honestly, you're better off doing something like this in Thrive Leads, okay? You're, otherwise, you're better off just creating a landing page. But look, that's not actually what we're focused on here. This doesn't really matter. What we're talking about is how to deliver content using ConvertKit. So what you want to do is you want to go to your settings. Then you want to go to incentive email. Okay, now this is essentially like their version of a double opt-in, if you will. Um, well, I don't like double opt-ins, to be frank. When people are, are just lot like joining my email list or they're just checking something out that they might be interested in, I don't do incentive emails. Uh, what I what I do is I just do single opt-ins, right? And it gets them straight into the list, send them what they actually want as a downloadable link. But uh, I do actually really like this for downloadable content because it really does confirm that people actually want what you're sending out. It also teaches them and kind of trains them to click on the information that you send out uh, at their very, very first email. Well, it does kind of set the precedence that you can be trusted that you're sending an email with a link and they click on it and they get exactly what they want, right? There's a few psychological factors going on there. So what I do though is I always edit this, confirm your subscription. So I say like, for example, uh, download your your uh, free ebook now uh, or you know click to download you know what whatever whatever you want to be you want to put a command in here um, to grab their attention they know they know exactly what to click um, so then what you want to do is you want to click over here right as the incentive download then you can upload an actual file that you want into here so let's just go to the desktop and see what we can find here so I've gone into my uh, lead magnets and I'm going to upload this one here so you can see it uploading right now. So that there is an actual PDF, right? You could also do it with eBooks. You could actually do it with videos. Uh, alternatively, if that doesn't work, like if you if you don't want to upload a video, which I quite frankly, I wouldn't recommend uh, upload sending a video as an upload, right? What you could do instead is is edit this message here right and put it in as a URL so you can go thank you page see this here so this is the actual thing here so what happens is once they sign up and they click on that link then it'll send them to whatever uh, in, uh, thank you page you want to put here so you could for example put like the URL of the video and when they click on it it goes to that video that you've promised right uh, you could put zip files in here and so on and so forth there's a bunch of stuff that you can put in here but when it comes to videos I would honestly suggest putting the um, the URL as opposed to an incentive download right still get some the URL still get some the content they want right 
and it's still being sent by email and they're being con uh, confirmed, right? So then what you want to do is you want to click on save form and then it's all done. And then when you go back to your content, you've got your form there. That's all basically set for you once you save that form and you are good to go. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video. There'll be a ton more convert kit uh, training to uh, video tutorials coming up in the few next few months as I really, really dive in and start mastering this amazing tool. Honestly, I'm so glad I joined this. I'm, I feel stupid that I didn't join this thing, you know, 18 months ago when I really first started uh, doing uh, making money online with, with internet marketing. All right, so stay tuned. There's going to be a lot more coming with this one. And I will talk to you again then.